Hi friends, today I am going to discuss things related to the uh, land acquisition. Okay, one of the important tasks in the road. Okay, DPR preparation. So without land acquisition, there won't be allocation for bidding. Okay, so we need to complete some stages. Then only it will go for bidding stage. Otherwise, uh, it will be uh, it will be in a delay process. Okay, so land acquisition is very very important stage in the DPR projects. Okay, especially for roads. Okay. so I'll uh, briefly discuss whatever I know okay so one first thing so there are two types of lands one is government and forest land and one more is private land okay so see these are the two important lands we need to acquire for a development of project road project so these are the some points I will uh, uh, discuss uh, briefly okay in the next slides so i'll make one made one video about this government and forest land separately uh, and right now i have prepared for, for private lands only okay so in government and forest land we need to get some forest maps okay whatever from the forest department dfo or whatever okay after that we need to visit giant survey with the forest department head okay who who has to do that who are doing the DPR preparation okay some forest uh, uh, what to say environmental engineer should be there for this purpose okay you need to visit giant site giant survey and uh, need to clarify means this this is the forest area and we need to divert it and we need to prepare some proposals okay then we need to get some clearance for construction purpose without forest clearance there won't be there will be a very problematic if you start construction so forest clearances should be submitted to the uh, authority national highway authority of india or pwd or ministry whoever is the client in the dpr preparation these these uh, uh, situations land acquisition problems won't occur in the detail design stage because detail design stage is clear means uh, uh, client will get, means contractor will get entire land in a free state Okay. so nothing but land acquisition is done completely before the bidding process okay so these are the details related to the government and forest land so now we'll go to the private land in if you are acquiring private land we need to prepare some schedules like technical schedules there are some land acquisition schedules okay 3a 3 capital a 3d 3g 3h like that around five four to five are there but uh, normally dpr role will be dpr consultant role will be up to 3d maximum 3g after that 3h won't be there not that much for a for few very few projects it will be there but uh, i am going to show how it looks and how, what are the things we need to do for the land acquisition process as a dpr consultant i am aware about few things okay so next so first one is preparation of three small a then digitization of land plans whatever the land plans we will get from the revenue department that we need to digitize in the AutoCAD to the our alignment proposed alignment okay then superimposition of ROW whatever the proposed ROW based on the um, uh, TCS details if some locations it might be 45 in some locations it might be 60 so that details you have to superimpose on the land plans then you have to do preparation of three capital a three small a and three capital a then 3d preparation of three capital d that is ownership details and property assessment uh, then giant verification for 3d whatever we have prepared 3d that must be verified with the project director or kala competent authority for land acquisition then uh, after that once 3d is completed our dpr uh, consultant role will be less and somewhat you will be free so after that you have to just assist to the client client nothing but pd project director of nhai for particular road okay so you need to just assist them and how we have calculated like that some um, help document sending like that that process you have to do until the bidding process done okay so let's go to preparation of small 3a 3a first one competent authority for land acquisition should be decided in this stage itself okay he is very he is um, means a main resource for the uh, everything 
means a remaining process so once this is decided okay uh, we need to mention if our alignment is going to something like this so whatever the villages are coming in that uh, alignment means within that ROW okay every village have some border like so so whatever the villages are occupying in that ROW that village names and police station details responsible police station and district name and taluk all details should be mentioned in the excel and you need to send this kala or project director they will verify it and they will confirm it so these are the villages are coming so you can proceed for the next stages like that you have to do okay can you see serial number jilla ka naam malappura and talu ka naam kodati gau ka naam chalambra so like that you have to prepare one excel sheet of, uh, with respect to the village details whatever coming in the proposed row okay if, if it occupy very small area that also you need to mention that is very very important please note this okay so kala and project director are very responsible persons for the entire land acquisition process if you have any doubt you can consult them and get clarified before taking any decision okay so once three small year done we need to go digitization of land plans so now you got the village details so you need to collect the village maps from the revenue department okay mro mandal revenue officer whatever uh, taluka from the respective taluka we need to collect the village maps of re revenue village revenue maps that needs to be digitized in our alignment whatever our proposed alignment after the approval of the proposal we need to digitize in the autocad so once it is done uh, what we have to do digitization is very very important using align tool you have to do okay so uh, village wise you have to prepare a different different drawings so then only you can proceed okay so it will be very means huge process autocad persons can do there is no means issue okay so then after digitization you have to superimpose the row and alignment whatever the row details see can you see this is the existing road so our proposal will be red line okay just assume that we need to acquire this polygon area 33 by 2 so like that you have to superimpose the row lines also once the digitization done in each village you have to superimpose the row lines based on the our proposal if it may be 60 meter accordingly we have to superimpose those lines okay then uh, once superimposition done you have to ma mark okay you have to find out the area okay means how much area it is going to acquire okay that area you need to calculate and we need to prepare it in excel sheet that will be a three capital a stage that is three capital a three small a is just village details and some police station details and uh, type of land also will come okay so in three capital a we need to type of land see can you see this is the thing village name ana uh, jilla district mandal gao and uh, survey number survey number is very important in this stage survey number we will decide because digitization is already completed we will get to know what is the survey number okay then type of land private and then uh, and then Bhumika Prakriti that I don't know actually uh, Bhumika Prakriti means wetland or dry land the details we need to mention we need to mention private and wetland or dry land after that area whatever you have calculated from the this digitization maps from the AutoCAD you need to enter these areas okay this is the preparation of three capital A okay this land should be verified in the site also okay and once it is done you have to publish in a newspaper okay this uh, this will be done by the uh, pd project director and kala they are responsible our role is dpr consultant role will be up to preparation of this thing and we need to send it to the client okay once it is done approval will go for the further stage okay so total how much land you are going to that total also we need to calculate each district wise you have to mention means in this district 
this malappuram district how much you are going to uh, acquire okay with respect to the project the details also we need to brief uh, in presentations and in so many reports we need to mention that district wise land acquisition details okay so now 3d 3 capital d not 3d hmm. Okay, three capital D. We need to uh, in three capital A. What we have mentioned? We have mentioned the type of land and uh, oh, survey number and area. Okay, here we need to mention just simply ownership details. That's it. That will be an extra. Okay, ownership details you have to can you see here. Ownership details you have to mention. Okay, this is the can you see. Survey number, type of land, and uh, type of uh, nature means dry or wet, and then area we are going to acquire from the three capital K. Okay, so uh, you can do some corrigendum also. If any mistakes happen, you can do some corrigendum, no issue. Okay, one after that ownership details you have to mention. One we have to do in both languages, Hindi and in English, that should be published in the newspaper. This is a three capital D format. Can you see the only difference is uh, ownership details? Okay, so in preparation of 3D, after that, joint verification of 3D with client, client nothing but NHA project director. So we need to go to uh, sign the joint verification with respect to the details. So these details we will get from the respective website. So in Uttar Pradesh, we have Bulek and uh, in Telangana, Mi Bumi or like that some uh, sub official websites are there Dharani nowadays they uh, recently launched so revenue department details will be get from the website and if you just enter this number we will get the type of land and what to say uh, area also total area you will get okay and uh, normal area you will get from the AutoCAD after that ownership details also available in that respective website that you have to copy and prepare it in excel and you have to do format uh, correctly then send to the client so uh, client also will verify our with us uh, and with the site also in the site also after that it is done it will be get published okay that is three capital d okay so up to these uh, stages are very very means uh, uh, not easy means tough means land acquisition process itself very tough okay so next assist client in further process further process means nothing but 3g and 3 capital h 3g 3g determination of amount how much amount uh, we are going to allocate so if you are acquiring some hectare how much uh, based on the current value will give some around 12 percent more than like that so that will be allocated um, so how much you are going to allocate that also will be mentioned in the three capital G schedule okay land acquisition schedule after that three capital H in three capital H deposit and payment of amount means how much it is deposited and at what time we have deposited and signatures like that we have we have to take okay this is the process okay in this process um, a DPR consultant role will be very minimum okay but uh, we need to assist them Okay. our role will be up to 3 capital D okay so I hope you understood the basic concept guys please subscribe my channel okay only means 30% uh, are subscribers watch time is there okay 60% are non subscribers please uh, uh, just click the subscribe button I'll make more videos okay which will be useful for the highway designers okay and civil engineers okay so one thing I want to show that uh, website uh, to make easier ministry decided to make one official website to make a uh, quicker land acquisition process that is uh, land acquisition portal can you see here so they have given the can you see questions also FAQs can you see who will create the project if it is a ministry project Argo will decide regional officer PD general manager so these are FA 3 capital A and 3 capital D related frequently asked questions okay can you see here you can search it also if you have a username you can create it and you can get it okay so this website is also very useful okay 
so guys please subscribe uh, encourage me to do more videos thanks for watching okay